graduates, please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner performed by our incredible Madrigal Choir under the direction of John Linfors. Graduates, please be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Dipali Potnas, principal of Costa Mesa High School, and I would like to welcome you to our 2023 graduation ceremony. I would like to give a warm welcome to our family and friends who are here to celebrate our students' accomplishments. Our students have achieved significant accomplishments while at Mesa, and we are proud of each and every one of you. After high school, our students will be attending community colleges, four-year universities, working in fields based off of their passions, and joining the military. We are proud of the route that you have decided to take. I would like to recognize our distinguished guests, including members of the Newport Mesa Unified School District Board of Education, who have joined us for this special occasion. Board of Education President, Ashley Anderson. Our clerk, Krista Weigand. And of course, our very own Michelle Murphy. I would also like to give a warm welcome and heartfelt appreciation to our Newport Mesa Unified School District dignitaries who are here to celebrate this joyous occasion with our Costa Mesa family. Assistant Superintendent Achievement, Innovation, and Continuous Improvement, Socorro Shields. Director of Secondary Education, Dr. Mike Shaka. <laughs> Director of Professional Learning Communities and K-12 Assessment, George Knights. <laughs> As always, hearing our students share their stories and give advice to our senior class is the most important and powerful part of our ceremony today. Please help me welcome 
our first speaker, Clarice Incarnacion, who is our ASB president. It's all here. <laughs> Good afternoon, class of 2023, family and faculty. It's an honor to stand behind this podium and see all of your beautiful faces to deliver some of the final words you will hear on this campus. It has been a dream of mine to stand here today and I would be lying if I told you that I haven't been looking forward to it for years, even though I wasn't officially granted the opportunity until last year in April when I was elected ASB president. I'm happy to be here now, though I am not any more ready for this last day that we will all be together than I was the first day of freshman year. Perhaps you don't feel ready either. Costa Mesa High School is a school like no other. At other high schools, a student is limited to being an athlete and a scholar, an artist and a scholar, a performer and a scholar, a club member and a scholar, and none of these identities are allowed to overlap. But at Costa Mesa High School, we can all be, and many of you were, Renaissance people, delving into a plethora of clubs, sports, and organizations. We could do it all, and judging from all the sashes, honor cords, pins, and other honors I see adorning your gowns, you did it all. Like you, I have used this characteristic of Costa Mesa to my advantage. Being able to dabble in all social groups and getting to know almost all the students in my class far by participating in a myriad of activities such as ASB, cheer, mock trial, National Honor Society, key club, drama, and more, has taught me how to be a big fish in a small pond, just like so many of you. Now go out into the world with this big fish mentality and find what you are passionate about. There is absolutely nothing stopping you from trying everything in order to discover your passion. Or perhaps you have already found your calling and you're just waiting to pursue it. Well, pursue it. You have to chase your goals and catch them like butterflies, manifesting your dreams and making them tangible, making them your reality. Dreams and passions are what give us a sense of direction in life. You should crave the realization of your dreams, for this craving will inspire you to achieve more than you thought possible. Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I want you to close your eyes for a moment and imagine your biggest dream is a reality. How good does it feel to be living something you once thought unattainable? Now let me tell you something. There is nothing between you and that dream from making your fantasy a reality except yourself. Because guess what? You're the only one who can achieve it. Nobody is going to walk into your life and wave a magic wand or walk into your life and provide this for you, even if it means working towards this dream of yours for the rest of your life. At least you have spent your years embracing your passion and doing what you love. The game of life is a lengthy one. Don't play the game objectiveless because you will find yourself landing on empty spaces. Today is a day to look forward, and it is also a day to look back. I treasure the memories we were able to create by being so involved. Some are what you would call goofy, but most memories are heartfelt and precious. I remember most every morning of my junior year, I would speed walk to class wearing socks, no shoes, with shoes in hand because I was convinced that I walked faster with no shoes on. Don't ask, was I faster with no shoes? Maybe. Though in my head, I was certain that I was the equivalent to Usain Bolt if he ever tried achieving a record in speed walking. Those same days, I would bring literal glassware to school holding my avocado toast because I was too rushed to rip up a bounty napkin before leaving the house. Another memory. I remember watching students laugh with hands clasped over their mouths after getting to pie our football coaches, Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Flores, and Mr. McDonald in the quad. And during Spread the Love Week, I can still envision all of your eyes glued to the quad walls as you search for that pink heart with your first and last name, and absolutely cheesing at the sight of pictures being taken of students sharing joyous embraces. What are your fondest Mesa memories? I have loved every minute at this school, 
and I hope you did too. And I loathe the inevitable parting that we must have with Mesa and that we must have with each other. The love I have for this school is immeasurable and the bonds that we have created here are strong. Valedictions are difficult and frankly, I have never been able to successfully bid one without ending up with mascara all over my cheeks and eyelids. So let us not say farewell, but let us say see you later and remember me when you're rich and famous or something like that. And remember me when you have caught that butterfly of a dream. And let us say goodbye to our high school world and hello to the fresh beginnings that the so-called real world will bring us and the successes that we must work hard to accomplish. And if nobody has told you recently, I am extremely proud of every one of you. High school is no easy feat, and you have all conquered it. Whether you have been anticipating going into the school of your choice, or diving straight into the world of work, serving our country, or if you have just been waiting to graduate high school, I'm so proud of how far you all have come, and it is truly an honor to be graduating with this amazing class. I encourage you all to make change and do what you can to better this world for yourself and for future generations and make this life that we have been gifted worth living. Go be that big fish in a small pond and make your dreams a reality. Congratulations, class of 2023. You're ready. Now go. Thank you, Clarice, for those wonderful reflections about your time at Costa Mesa. Our Costa Mesa High School Band will now perform a musical selection under the direction of band director Sandy Gilbo.
Thank you to our band and thank you, Sandy. At this time, please help me welcome our next student speaker. It's Cell Ramirez, who is our senior class president. Good afternoon to our faculty, staff, estimated guests, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2023. To start off, I want to say how incredibly honored I am today to have the opportunity to speak to all of you. But the day has come. It's finally here. The moment we've all been waiting for, graduation day. This bittersweet thrill that will change our lives the moment we walk out those gates and change the world. Although we may think as today, as the last day we leave Mesa, in some ways, we're not leaving at all. Let me explain. As Jan Brewer, the former governor of Arizona said, as you go through life, no matter what you do or how you do it, you leave a little footprint and that's your legacy. Today, I wanna talk about the legacy of class of 2023. We started by coming from so many different places. Some started our Mesa journey as nervous seventh graders, and others have joined us along the way. And now we walk that gate together. Unique to any other graduating class, we've endured the greatest shakeup to public education in this lifetime, COVID, which shaped our experiences but hasn't defined our ending. We persevered through isolation, uncertainty, and the grief of what we expected. This perseverance is our legacy. During my time at Mesa, I've had the opportunity to meet so many different personalities and characters. I'm talking about you. And you are what shapes our school. As I look at each of you, I see people willing to put themselves out there even when it's scary. Special shout out to Royce Renner for always turning it up on the dance floor too. <laughs> I have witnessed the generosity of those who go out of their way, even when they don't get anything in return. This might be something as little, as little as offering a friend a ride home or lending an ear to listen. In times of need, we sent convenience aside to help those who needed it, like inviting a friend to literally come live with you or dropping all plans to comfort a grieving friend. I see those with the unbreakable bond that exists between teammates or bandmates or castmates through our shared experiences. When all of these traits are combined, we see the unique beauty of Mesa that is perfectly represented at our unifying school-wide events, like our dances, rallies, soccer games, and football games. Our, our camaraderie, unity, excitement, and euphoria at these events put the lie to the negative stereotypes of high school, like cliques, like jocks versus nerds. But this unity is our legacy. Each one of us can feel confident leaving today knowing that we have left a little bit of ourselves at Mesa. Our Mesa legacy continues as we graduate. We look back on the many accomplishments of our class. We have athletic accomplishments through our many CIF accolades, our performing arts who have been amazing through color guard gaining, national ranking, and our different bands placing competitions and performing all over, like at Seagerstrom Concert Hall. We have a student who was named Orange County Artist of the Year in Fine Arts. Our engineering team placed in STEM on the sidelines and VEX competitions. We have even added a couple Mesa traditions on our own, like a great iron game and our very first ever Quadchella event. Excellence is our legacy. Without every single one of you, Mesa wouldn't exist as it does. It wouldn't have all those special flourishes that are compiled by each person to shape us together. In any moment that you have felt small, just remember that you're part of a bigger picture, united in love. Unity is our legacy. 
As much as today is all about us graduates, we did not and could have not gone where we are today on our own. To our parents, grandparents, extended family, friends that feel like family, coaches, and every adult here to celebrate a graduate, thank you. Thank you for the endless, insurmountable, and unrecognized ways you have loved us, supported us, and sacrificed for us to be successful, to be more, to be better. Y gracias, padres, por su dedicación y amor entre sus hijos. Que esto es un gran orgullo. To my own family, thank you for the unconditional love and support you've shown me my whole life. The sacrifice you made, I will endure and cherish forever. Thank you for shaping the young woman I am today. In addition to our families at home, we're also so lucky to have a family here at Mesa. The Mesa staff, you go out of your way to invest in us, knowing that it will leave a mark. You sacrificed your personal time, your resources, and gave us all your patience to make us better people. To each teacher, administrator, and support staff member, on behalf of our class, I want to say thank you. It doesn't feel like enough, but thank you. This Mesa family is our legacy. The legacy of class of 2023 is what we leave behind, a legacy of perseverance, unity, love, excellence, and family. Although we officially leave Mesa today, we leave these footprints behind to inspire those who will come after us. We have made our legacy. Thank you. Thank you, Itzel. As long as as has long been a tradition at Costa Mesa High School. Our Madrigal Choir, led by director John Linfors, will now sing The Irish Blessing. Thank you to Mr. Linfors and our Madrigal Choir. At this time, we would like to welcome our faculty speakers, Sharon Ewell and Sandy Gilbo.
It's a great day to be a Mustang. This is Mrs. Yule giving your commencement speech. Woo! I had to do that one more time for you guys. Um, you're told not to have favorites, but I must confess, I have a favorite, and it's the class of 2023. I've been blessed to watch you grow into amazing adults these past six years. I knew this was a special group when I was your seventh grade PE teacher. Even back then, this class was athletic, musically talented, artistic, and most of all, kind. You always supported each other and were each other's biggest cheerleaders. You embraced each other's differences and grew closer because of your inclusiveness. During COVID, you had each other's backs and kept the Mesa spirit alive. Now as your athletic director, I continue to see the friendships and bonds you have made as you competed at the highest level on your sports teams and in the classroom. Your enthusiasm was contagious to watch. You all have become the best version of yourself and I'm happy to be going out amongst the stars. Here are some words to live by that I would like to leave with you as you start the next chapter of your life. Believe in yourself. Anything is possible and I have seen that time after time as you competed in your games, concerts, and plays. Never give up. Practice makes perfect, and it's okay to not get it right the first time. Be grateful. Appreciate what you have. Don't take anything for granted. Work hard. Make every opportunity that comes your way count. Be kind. Treat others with respect. Stay strong. Overcome life's lumps and bumps and know that you've got it. Keep smiling. A smile is free to give away. Always think positively. As we all start the next chapter of our lives, we will be going in different directions. True growth and fulfillment lie not in the outcome itself, but rather in the journey we undertake to reach it. It is in the striving, the learning, the unlearning, the failing, and the persistent effort that we truly find our purpose, our inner strength, and our true selves. Let us remember that true success lies not in the single moment, but in the relentless pursuit of our dreams, fueled by determination and resilience. First and foremost, I want to congratulate each of you on this milestone. As we gather to celebrate this momentous occasion, being a musician, I am thinking of the parallels between music and life's journey. Life, much like a symphony, encompasses a vast array of emotions. It is during these moments of joy, triumph, and even setbacks that we discover the depth of our character. Remember that your journey doesn't end here. It is simply a prelude to the symphony that awaits. Just as music has its rhythm and flow, so does life. There will be times when life's tempo accelerates, demanding quick thinking and decisive actions, and times when it slows down to a quiet interlude that helps us to reflect. Part of life's journey is to find the balance to the changing rhythms. Sometimes we follow precisely the notes as written on a piece of music, and sometimes we improvise. Like the lyrics to a favorite song, your life has your own story to tell. Let your voice be heard, your experiences be cherished, and your dreams to be pursued with bold determination. Seek out new opportunities, step outside your comfort zone, and be open to learning from every note. Let music also serve as a reminder that life's journey is not meant to be traveled alone. Cherish the connections you have made during your time here, for the friendships forged and the bonds formed are the harmonies that enrich the soundtrack of your life. Be open to new collaborations as you may discover a, a different tune that will help shape you. May your life's journey be a symphony of passion, purpose, and limitless possibilities. I thank the students and community of Costa Mesa High School for shaping my own life symphony for the past 32 years. As Sir Edward Elgar, the composer of Pomp and Circumstance, once said, there is music in the air, music all around us, the world is full of it, and you simply take as much as you need. Class of 2023, it is your turn to find your own music and play it with passion. Congratulations, and always, always remember, remember, once, once a, Mustang, a Mustang, always a Mustang. Mustang. 
Thank you, Mrs. Yule and Mrs. Gilbo. We are so thankful for your leadership and commitment to the Mesa community. While we are so sad that you are leaving for retirement, we also hope that you enjoy your time. We are sending you off with Mesa love and gratitude. Let's please give them one more round of applause. Since 2013, when I started my administrative journey as a high school activities director, I dreamed of one day becoming a high school principal. It is fair to say that dreams can become a reality. And having this specific senior class being my first class that I'm graduating is a humbling experience because you are the brightest, kindest, fiercest, and most beautiful humans that I have ever met. And trying to be cool for a quick second, class of 2023, you're a real one. Somebody laughed, thank you. <laughs> Being new to Costa Mesa High School was honestly intimidating. I wanted to be a part of the greater community, build meaningful relationships, continue to cultivate a culture on this campus where every individual felt as though they were a part of the fabric of this school, while promoting the value of authenticity. Being authentic is defined as being true to one's own personality, spirit, or character. What allowed me to feel centered in this huge transition to this high school is a pure knowingness that if I vulnerably showed up myself authentically to you, I could create a space where you could show yourself authentically as well. Whether it be the ridiculous numbers of pictures and videos that I took at all of the events on campus to promote your greatness, yes, overposting those pictures on my social media page, the implementation of a new tardy policy to set standards and place the value on the importance of your education, the laughs from the silly jokes, or the deep conversations about your aspirations, fears, and the subconscious mind making you feel stuck, you got to be you, I got to be me, and we were all able to hold space for each other. Graduating from high school is a milestone and a step in the, and a step in the next important phase of your life. There's no set roadmap, just a series of decisions for you to make that will allow you to keep moving forward, pause, and sometimes even take a step back. Any combination of those steps is a step in the right direction. You will, of course, celebrate many accomplishments and victories along the way, but do not forget that there may be some setbacks, and setbacks are a part of life. They do not define you, they make you stronger, and often open new pathways to different experiences that were meant for you. My hopes for you is that you dream big and get comfortable being uncomfortable. Dreams do not become a reality without a combination of qualities. The first quality is hard work. Your efforts, energy, and time put into achieving your goals are an essential part of attaining them. Hard work does not always give you the progress at the rate that you want it. So be patient and celebrate growth. The next quality that you will need to embody is a growth mindset. We live in a world of immediate feedback and perfectionism. But the reality is, success is not linear, and that's okay. The third quality is resilience. You need resilience in order to be okay with curveballs. And being resilient does not mean you always maintain a positive mindset through every experience, whether it's good or bad. It means that you feel all the feelings that come to surface as you go through life's experiences, and you keep your worthiness in mind as a catalyst to continue in the journey. You are worthy, you always have been, and you always will be. The final and most important quality is being authentic. While we all have areas where we can grow and we're constantly evolving, we need to show up in places as our truest selves. Being in alignment with who we are and not abandoning our inner self to meet the needs of the outer world is the only way to live. 
own who you are and stay true to yourself because at the end of the day, you are the only person that lives with your mind, body, and heart. Dr. Nicole LaPera says, whatever path you take, as long as you've con consciously chosen it and trust yourself in the process, whatever the outcomes, you will be ready. Class of 2023, it has been an honor walking this journey with you. You have deeply impacted the lives of those sitting next to you on the field, those in the stands, and on a personal note, myself. Walk into the next phase of your life with an open mind and an open heart, and know that we are always rooting for you. You are always a part of the Mesa Nation. Go Mustangs. And now, the moment that you have been waiting for, the awarding of your diplomas. Will the first row please rise? Clarice Encarnacion. Itzel Ramirez. Paige Chung. Ryan Pham. Gagandeep Bhopal. Grace Fasili. Rachel Domingo. Grace Dickinson. Tiana Lung. Jenna Bergelin. Thilam Va. Nolan Nguyen. Fanu Anu. Angelina Gonzalez. Kyra Kirsch. Isabella Mills. Christina Park. Be Paulino. Ben Vu. Kian Momeni. Ravdeep Singh. Mason Beatles. John Boy. John Williamson. Edwin Gutierrez Flores. Ashley Vargo. Callie Carter. Rosalyn Anthony Nuesca Madriaga. Natalie Schwartzman. Liam Menendez. Ava Pollock. Caitlin Lowry. Connor Truman. Austin Nagano. Jason Alcantara. Daniela Hernandez. Jason Foreman. Wyatt Jules. Colin Sutton. Matthew Anderson. Alexis Lopez. Josh Galamgam. Alegra Swaidan. Brandon Kraft. 
Madison Stein. Meadow Lee. Grace Wilborn. Anna Baltazar. Jacqueline Cruz. Mia Gaspar. Kenya Bayo. Jacob Fesili. Julia Ramirez Delgado. Brianna Land. Christian Dasca. Juan Rodriguez. Haley Boudreau. Evan Freitas. Mila Lee. Kevin Palumbo. Justin Peña. Isaira Wirtiz. Rin Angelina Amelia Gonzalez Sekoski. Annalie Mendoza. Dane Curran. Emily Mendoza. Morgan Taylor. Sitlali Chavez. Bryant Noyola. Edwin Olmedo. Liana Devas. Josue Perez Carranza. Emily Estrada. Edward Serrano. Kylie Atwood. Evangelina Marie Castillo. Aubrey Jackson. Andrew King. Sebastian Alvarez Duarte. Colin Sanchez. Giovanna Santos. Giovanna Santos. Manaro Kosuge. David or David? David Calix. Victor Jesus Arellano. Ethan Gleason. Fernando Guerrero. Gavin Fawcett. Ashley Gutierrez. Marianne Alonso Olmedo. Christian Guzman. Royce Renner. Melissa Haro. Sam Studi. Samuel Heil. Aisha Marquez. Irais Hernandez Banos. Alexandra Hernandez. Nora Moreno. Melanie Alexandra Guzman. Hector Sanchez. Mark Anthony Gutierrez. Omar Geranimo. Omar Grijalva. Jesus Hernandez. Gerardo Carrillo. Carla Hernandez. Ella Bush. Eric Hernandez. Colin Boy. Daniela Landaverde Ruiz. Samantha Arabatsari Berrer. Vanessa Lee. Stephanie Becerra. Jasmine Lira. Giovanni Rios Ramirez Barrios Gomez. Jesus Lopez. Leon. Jack Leon. Israel Lopez Gayoso. Hugo? 
Hugo Blancarte. Emily Luna Rivera. Austin Betts. Jesse Angel Luna Mata. Angel Martin. Wendy Jacqueline Martinez. Lund. Thomas Lund. Diego Martinez Garcia. Lily Lawson. Edwin Melendez. Jennifer Larazaval. Honey Milne. Curtis Coots. Anthony Molina. Lila Kibben. Mackenzie Mora. Gagandeep Kaur. James Morales. Nicolas Ibarra. Jordan Enrique Moran. Jafta Howerton. Tanya Nahara. Nayeli Orozco. Liliana Perez. Emmanuel Orozco Soto. Kimberly Palacios Mata. Donovan Panfilo Arias. Carlos Olvera. Brandon Para. Jay Nguyen. Ashley Perez. Elias Da Silva. Kevin Alexander Perez Cruz. Alex Medrano. Huang Pham. Caitlin McGarry. Leilani Rabadan Ibarra. Andrea Martinez. Angel Ramirez. Sofia Urada. Cassandra Ramos. Jose Toscano. Isaac Requena. Daniela Terrones Murillo. Jerry Lawrence Retuya. Reagan Schneider. Yasenia Rivera. Dina Salame. Aiden Robles. Natasha Ruiz. Victor Rodriguez. Destiny Rodas. Allison Ruiz. Luis Riestra. David Ruiz. Garrett Richards. Christopher Ruiz Delgado. Cassandra Raya. Gio Salas. Milenka Ramirez. Yareli Martinez Cordoza. Mia Ramirez. Dante Sandoval. Jacob Barstad. Maxwell Schultz. Dylan Barstad. Carlos Segoviano. Danny Barrientes. Gabriela Segura. Zoe Banks. Kendra Sign. Luz Avelar. Osvaldo Saratos. Dharma Andreas. Ashley Sierra. Ada Maris A. 
Alvarez. Michaela Smith. Kimberly Aguilera Valdovinos. Ethan Smithlin. Alexa Abundis. Mario Tapia. Jonathan Zambrano Munoz. Janine Thomas. Natalie Salpa Wipe. Judah Toro. Joshua Gutierrez. Lucas Tran. Christopher Carrillo. Paul Valencia. Jamal Campbell. Eric Vasquez. Kimberly Camacho. Julian Villalobos. Dana. Dana Burgos. Riley Weinstein. Montserrat Breseno. Gavin Wortham. Arlette Bravo. Abraham Garcia. Randall Bosques. Amy Garnica. Lalimo Bejanjan. Brandon Geck. Aaron Biasha. Mauricio Flores. Hannah Batlick. Elizabeth Gerlin Franco. Brandon Delgado. Wendy Franco. RJ Dearborn. Gabriela Garcia Crisanto. Rafael De La Torre. Haley Guadalupe Garcia. Miguel Dayao. Jenny Garcia. Kit Cortez. Hillary Garcia. Carlos Cortez. Sean Gleason. Ramses Corral. Jordan Morrison. Sergio Corona. Na Naomi Conde. Yaretsi Colin. Kian Krishan. Christopher Flores. Emily Natalie Enriquez. Sarah El Masri. Jaden Ellsworth. Vaughn Everly. Luke Duncan. Alfredo Duarte. Giovanni Dorado. Aliana Papena Dison. Clarissa Diaz. Angelina Diaz.
Will the Newport Mesa Unified School District Board Member, Michelle Murphy, please come forward to accept the class of 2023. Board Member Murphy, I am pleased to announce that the graduating class of 2023 has met the requirements established by the State of California, the County of Orange, and the Newport Mesa Unified School District. Board Member Murphy, I present to you the Costa Mesa High School graduating class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Pontanus. It is a privilege to be with you today as we celebrate the achievements of our seniors and this important step forward, beginning a new chapter in life as high school graduates. Mesa is all about community. It is a hallmark of our school. Today's graduation ceremony is yet another small indication of just how powerful that community is. For you are surrounded by people who love you, people who care for you, people who want only the best for you. What an incredible gift and a moment for you to remember. The sun even came out, so soak it all in. But this graduation is not an ending, rather it is a beginning, a step on your greater path towards growth and achievement. Do your best to remember all the important relationships formed, the struggles overcome, accomplishments achieved, and all the good and, yes, challenging moments of the past four years. All of these lessons will be a part of you forever and will help you succeed in your future endeavors. Accordingly, as you take this important step today, I ask that you begin with a thank you. Thank you to anyone and to everyone who has made this opportunity possible for you. Maybe it's mom and dad. Maybe it's a grandparent or aunt and uncle. Maybe it's a godparent or a dear friend of your family. Please take a moment in the coming weeks to write or text uh, a note of thanks or however you communicate uh, or even better tell them those folks tell those folks who have supported you just how much you appreciate and love them because they got you here today and while i'm speaking of gratitude let me also say thank you to everyone gathered here to all of the parents teachers staff and administrators who are so very special for those whom we partner with on a daily basis, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you for all you do, and especially for your support of these amazing students. Congratulations again, Mustangs, to each of you today for completing this exciting leg of your life journey, and to each of you for an outstanding year. And now, one other thing that you've all been waiting for, Graduates, you can now move your tassel from the right to the left. <laughs> Great job, you guys. By the power vested in me by the state of California, the county of Orange, and the Newport Mesa Unified School District, I declare the Costa Mesa High School class of 2023 graduated. Congratulations. Graduates and families, please meet, please meet each other for pictures and celebration in the middle school enclave.
It's a 